If I mention the word parasite, you probably have an image of blood-sucking worms and disease-carrying microorganisms. And you wouldn't be far wrong. Parasites, by their very definition, survive by living off a host at the host's expense, and in many cases can weaken and ultimately kill the host. But parasites might not always be bad news. In certain circumstances, they can be harnessed to serve altogether more honourable purposes. The idea of using parasites for gain isn't a new one. Take the humble leech. It's a real bloodsucker, attaching itself to anything fleshy that comes its way, secreting an anaesthetic and opening up a wound to get access to a feast of delicious blood. Great for the leech, but not so great for the unwitting animal, as they risk the effects of blood loss and infection of open wounds. But bring the leeches into a more sterile setting, and these suckers can do much more good than their reputation suggests. Though it might sound pretty gross, leeches are now being used in the operating theatre to keep blood flowing during plastic and reconstructive surgery. When body parts are attached, surgeons find it easy to get blood flowing in through the arteries, but not so easy to hook up the veins to get it flowing out again. Attach a leech to the area, and when it bites down, it injects a powerful chemical that stops blood clotting. The wound can bleed for hours and hours, stopping blood from pooling and damaging tissue, and giving the veins time to heal up. So if you can swallow your squeamishness, the secret to saving a finger is a simple, slimy leech. Even more disgusting, but possibly even more important, are the parasitic worms that live in your gut. I'm not talking about big, fierce-looking tapeworms, but microscopic helminths that can wriggle in through your skin or through your food. Yuck. Sounds horrible, but these little critters might just hold the key to keeping allergic reactions and bowel diseases at bay. Until the last few decades, everyone had helminths in their intestines, leeching away at nutrients. Now in Western countries at least, improved hygiene and sanitation has seriously reduced the amount of infection by these parasitic worms. Good news, you'd think. But the rise of domestic hygiene has been accompanied by a rise in bowel disorders. And there are some that think it's the loss of helminths that are at the root of the problem. The theory goes that as the worms wriggle through the body, they damage the tissues, which triggers a particular kind of immune response. The immune system continually fixes the damage the worms cause and reduces inflammation, which can protect against these unpleasant and painful bowel diseases. So-called helminth therapy is being researched and developed at the moment. It has promise, but there's a long way to go before scientists fully understand the impacts and benefits of parasitic worms, and hopefully find a way of using them without having to eat the worms or let them crawl through your skin. But parasites are useful to more than human health. Insects are not immune to parasitic infection. Parasitic wasps can target fellow insects and lay their eggs inside them. When the larvae hatch inside the insect's body, they have a ready-prepared gourmet meal of insect innards to eat before they have to face the world. The more of these murderous larvae, the fewer insects. So the parasites can and have been used to control insect populations. Like in Thailand in 2010, when an outbreak of mealybugs threatened the local cassava crop, Instead of using pesticides, nearly a quarter of a million parasitic wasps were unleashed to specifically target the unwanted bugs, with great success. And killing off insect pests isn't all these parasitic wasps are useful for. With a high-tech twist, they can even be used to detect drugs. The small, stingless Microplytus crocapes wasp usually use their antennae to track down their favoured caterpillar hosts by sniffing out a chemical in their poo. But scientists have managed to train them to track down an entirely different chemical, one that doesn't lead to a host, but to elicit drugs. By harnessing these insect instincts and containing the wasps in a portable device, the wasp hound was born 
able to sniff out not only drugs, but also explosives and even bedbugs. So, while there's no doubt that parasites can still live up to their gruesome reputation, with a little control and plenty of imaginative thinking, they might just be able to redeem themselves. Here at Earth Unplugged, we answer fascinating questions about the natural world. Click here to watch more from me and let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to Earth Unplugged.